All right, welcome to lab five. In the previous lab, lab four, you used a technique called parallax to measure the distance to a nearby star. In this lab, you're going to learn a different technique called standard candles, which you can then use to measure distances much farther out. A standard candle is an object of known luminosity. If you can identify an object as being a particular type of standard candle, you then know its luminosity. So all you have to do is measure its brightness, which is typically the easiest thing to do in astronomy. And then you can calculate its distance. Now, in this lab, we're going to use three different types of standard candles to measure distances farther and farther and farther out. We'll begin by using a type of variable star called an RR Lyrae, which you as a class should have already collected data on. And you'll use this RR Lyrae star, the standard candle, to measure the distance to a globular cluster, which is a star cluster in orbit about our galaxy. Then you'll use a different type of variable star called a Cepheid, which is more luminous, so we can see them farther out, and you'll use one of these to measure the distance to a nearby galaxy. Then, finally, you'll use a type of supernova explosion called a type 1a, which is yet more luminous. So we can see it even farther out, and we'll use that to measure the distance to a far away galaxy. Now, before beginning lab five, you should probably put in your observations for lab six. In lab six, you need to image a handful of galaxies, which is something you've done before. It should be pretty straightforward. And you can find the instructions for doing this and which galaxies you need to image in lab six, procedure B, part one. Okay, that's it.